Well, yesterday we told you about Dayton City Commissioners approving more than $1 million to make the Dayton International Airport more attractive. Dan Edwards is live with Mayor Gary Leitzel with more on that, and he's going to talk with him about a few other topics in an interview you are seeing only on two. Hi, Dan. Hey, good morning, Marcia. Yes, we're live at Press in downtown Dayton in the Oregon District here on Wayne Avenue, and uh, one of those great small businesses that make our downtown great, and uh, Mayor Gary Leitzel here to talk to us. After the presidential visit, we kind of been in a limelight this, this uh, mm -hmm. week nationally. Let me ask you, who pays for that presidential visit from the cleanup to the security, everything? Well, it ends up being the burden of the taxpayer. I actually sent an email to Tim Reardon, the city manager, saying, hey, can we, can we charge their campaign fund? And he, he's got a lot of experience with dealing with this stuff. And he says, Can't do no, we, we've tried that in the past. It's their way of guaranteeing the deficit. So, <laughs> so, okay. so. All right, you did approve, though, $1.6 million for the airport improvements from lighting. Is that a good investment for an airport that's showing marginal growth? Well, it, 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 we may be showing marginal growth, but we're still showing growth. And uh, one of the things we're starting to do now is track where the customers are coming from. And we're actually attracting a good percentage of people from the southern counties of Ohio and Kentucky which means they aren't using Cincinnati, which means that either our pricing structure is better, which is mm -hmm. what I've heard, um, or we're also providing locations, the right locations to go, because we just opened up to LaGuardia in New York. So, and with Southwest Airlines coming, it's, it's all part of a, a marketing plan to, to support that. And how, about the, how about the demolition of uh, some of these buildings? Have we you know, increased revenue that uh, was unexpected? Can we ramp that up a little bit, okay. get more of these houses knocked down? Okay, you're talking about the residential area. Yeah, mm -hmm. we, we've got $2.4 million from the state of Ohio through the bank settlement or whatever. We have to match that. Um, we have 6,000 vacant structures, Dan, uh, $10,000 a structure to demolish. That's a $60 million problem. We've got like almost four and a half million dollars to deal with it, so we're going to get 450 houses down. I mean, it, it's a big problem. But we also have a REIT program, real estate acquisition program, mm -hmm. through the county. It forces a sheriff's sale. If um, if a property is vacant and more than two years in arrears on taxes, people can file an application with the city to acquire it for for the administration mm -hmm. cost, which should be less than two thousand dollars. I'm going to really start vamping up that program okay. in the next few months to let people know. ODOT also shut down 1st and 3rd Street exits. Is that really going to choke off our downtown businesses? I think I think we'll get a lot of complaints from citizens for a week or two and then they're going to figure a way of uh, getting downtown because there are going to be detours posted. But the, um, I, you know, I, I don't know, most of the people coming downtown, they either work downtown or in service industries and they're going to have to come down anyway. So I think that uh, if you, if you, you'll find your way. I okay. mean, yeah, you'll complain for a bit. And find your way for the big haunt fest this That's weekend. Right. And uh, we <laughs> want to thank Janelle and Brett Barker for having us in a press. They're going to have uh, Jacob Dest, a tattoo artist of Truth and Triumph in here tomorrow night as we kind of celebrate downtown. Tomorrow. Right, he's going to be doing an art, an art show here mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. So, yeah, tomorrow is uh, haunt fest. Come to the Oregon District and wear your best googly outfit and, uh, and have a good time. You know, Dayton's a great place, and it, downtown's still the safest neighborhood. All right, Mayor, thank you so much for joining right. us, and we appreciate your candor this morning. Live downtown, Dan Edwards, 2 News Today.